Okay, so... Whenever I say something, thunder happens. So I'm going to say this quickly. Um, today's goal is to begin the process of obtaining the ME stuffs. So for that, we're going to need a lot of stuffs. The main thing we need to to work on is the controller. This looks like iron. It's not. It's enriched iron, which is basically iron um, with never quartz. Obviously, the only way to get never quartz through the never. Then we have the advanced processor, <clears throat> which is the easier one to make. Um, all you need for this is redstone, silicon, process binding, and diamonds. Now, silicon, obviously, we need quartz. So, ideally, the goal for today is to somehow make it to the nether. As we learned from last episode, to get to the nether, all we need is magma block and a water bucket. Uh, and to get all this, it shouldn't be too difficult um, to make magma. All we need is flint and steel, which we are almost there. Obviously, all we need is flint. Uh, oh, you are a new one. You are new indeed. How about you come over here and um, I can put you in this lovely uh, lovely boat. That would be very useful if you were to just slide on in. Perfect. Alright, well, let's go. If you don't know, um, so the mod that uses Nemi storage system is a Revine storage or you can either go with the Applied Energistics. Applied Energistics, for me, usually is a bit more expensive, hence why we are going for Refined Storage. Um, but there is more stuff you can do in refined storage in terms of storage. I think if I have it, I don't think I've added the mod, which I will likely do. But there is storage crates, which you can get, which work in the same way as chests, except you don't open them. You just simply right click an item into it and it will post them all. So if I was to type crate now, no, there's no crates or anything like that as of now. Um, but there will be when you next see... Uh, this clip, which you actually won't know what will happen because I'm so fast with it. But literally, I'm that quick with it. Um, if I was to just type in, let's say... I actually don't know what the mod is called. <laughs> I just had it and I don't know what it's called. Here we go. We've got drawers, which are very useful early on um, in terms of storing your stuff. Because there's actually multiple upgrades you can get. Um, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Holds 32 stacks per drawer. Now these work like you can only use one item in one drawer. So let's say if I had three drawers here, I could put one cobblestone, one dirt, one normal stone or whatever. So it does be limited in that degree, but they are still a better alternative. So since we are using oak, I feel like it's only fitting that we begin to make some of these. And they are really cheap to make. Um, and I'm hoping that this recipe has this going on. Which they don't. That's annoying. So there we go. We'll make 10. So it's an even amount. Uh, then we do this. And we have 8. So we can now stack up to 8 items. Which is very useful. Um, and I'll show you why and how you can actually use it. So we're going to take out some of the more stuff we're getting. For example... Dirt, cobble, moss, and mud. And all you do is... Oh, okay, you don't shift and right-click. Oh, okay, you just simply do that. You just right-click it in. Uh, and if you look at the top of your screen, it does tell you how much is in. And let's say I need dirt. Let's say I need one or two. You just left-click. Uh, if you need a stack, you shift and left-click. Uh, which is very nice. Um, so it's quick to withdraw. Um... As of now, this is going to be the temporary solution to our storage because we've got all these items we can hold here. So it's very worthwhile to have it. Oh, and I was just bridging out just because why not? And oh, there we go. And I don't know what that actually gives me. I think it gives me a little bit of XP. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't really give me a lot, which I'm a bit upset with. But um, yeah, I don't know if you can get anything down the line. Like the more dirt you place more um the more xp you get or whatever i don't know I, I like i said in the last episode i haven't tinkered with this i haven't played around with it so i i know nothing but we are doing this because obviously we are going to need some grass so i'm hoping there you go so now now we have to wait after many moments later it is finally spread enough so that i can actually go ahead uh and remove all this and continue um 
I almost broke that. I'm not gonna lie. Almost broke it, and I almost would have cried. Cause um, that is something I do. Cause oh, actually, I don't want to waste my wood. I have a crafting table in here. There we go. It all looks normal again. I just need one more torch, which I'm using over there. But we can now continue breaking the block. We have this big area now, so this is spreading all nice and well. So let's continue. Oh, just by making a furnace. Okay, so this this quest log here, um, this one here, this is the one that gives you rewards. So if I make a wooden sword, I get, okay, that is just not worth it. I get a shield from that. One fishing rod. Oh, my, how many mines comes in using furnace to make five stone? Oh, okay. It's actually, I should really like use this more. Convert nine rotten flesh into one diamond. Stand on a crafting table to enable the process and switch between offhand and main hand to initiate. So that's how you get diamonds, is you use rotten flesh. Interesting. Sticks, charcoal. Now I'm assuming this does expand a little bit more. I hope it does, because that would be kind of not ideal, you know? But um, hey. We mined it 750 times already. All right, let's keep going. I'm actually going to move the upstairs part to, I think, here. Because having it in the center, it's just too clustered. And it's kind of kind of ugly in that sense. I really don't like the look of it. So home improvements with Turtsy. Wow, this is such, such cute cottage core vibes. I'm such a good Minecrafter. There we go. I can at least now see what's going on around me, finally. Now, I'm going to buy some carrots, because I don't have those yet. So we've got pa uh, carrots and potatoes. He's just died. I have no more villagers. It is only me here now. This is super sad Gamer Boy hours. I'm all alone. Wait, no, I heard a villager. Oh, he's a... How? Are you a new one? Okay, they are kind of awful. It's good iron, but that isn't very good. Do you know what is annoying? Um, okay, no, never mind. I say I do need tough, so I don't technically need you for anything, which is nice. So I'm assuming you're just gonna stay up here until until you die. So have fun. Okay. I've made all the tools I'm going to need with the iron I have mined. I also now have... I didn't get the stone one, which... Oh, it's because I need to complete these first. Okay, so I need to craft a wooden axe, which we can do that. I'm wondering if it will still count. So we've unlocked that. I got myself a shield. If I hold that, does that count as... It does! We got a fishing rod. Which is kind of cool, because now we can fish for stuff that we don't you typically have. And we got a bow and arrow as well. That's actually really big. Um, solid. I'm glad we got a fishing rod. Um, actually, with this iron I have here, uh, since I know there is no way of me obtaining water right now... Cauldron. So upon further looking, to get gravel, all we need is cobble and dirt. Um, that is good news because I have nearly a stack of each. Uh, and for this, we can get clay, uh, which again, we're going to need a lot of. So let's make some gravel. Obviously with that, we can now make flint, obviously once we get, or mine a flint. So let's put a few, let's, let's get 10 flint. And with this gravel, um, we can now do stuff like obsidian, which I'll be honest, I am struggling to remember why I needed gravel for. Hmm. I'll go back to you. Okay. I remembered why we needed gravel. So we need gravel so we can then ultimately make clay and we can use clay to get water. Um, obviously, we're going to need clay for other stuff. I'm not sure what we need it for right now, but I know we do need clay. But again, we are going to need dirt for that, and I literally just 
used at all making that. So we're gonna have to go mining for a bit. And we're gonna this was a waste of time making this. Um we now have just a random cauldron sat here. And hopefully I get one flint from this. Nothing. Okay, so after many attempts at going into the server files, I can now craft clay. This took over an hour and a half. Go away, cauldron. I am so over this method of obtaining water, but now I can finally do it. I finally have water. <laughs> Bro, this took so long. So, the only thing left to do, realistically, is to make a, obviously, uh, infinite water source. Um, now, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Actually, no, I can do this, because now I have water. So, I can just come on down below, uh, like so. Now, because I've done that in the corner, it has to all be the same. Um, like so. And uh, yeah, we just got to do it again. And now we have infinite water. Hell yeah. Now we've got clay. So what can I do with clay? Why did I need clay? Why is clay so important? Well, I can use clay to now make terracotta. Oh, actually, I need bricks. So I, need clay. I still need to be able to make clay balls. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm literally... So stupid. I just realized, hmm, am I going to have to go into the configs and make uh, custom recipes? No. We can... <laughs> I forgot. You could literally mine this block to get your clay. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're chilling. Oh, my God. So the reason why I wanted clay is to start beginning to make um, hopper botany pots. And these are really good. Um, for one, because you can just grow things in the background and you don't have to do anything, like, ever. All you have to do, realistically, is just be in the same chunk and it will just keep doing it naturally. So if I was to place, let's say, a chest here and a chest there, I could have two hopper bottom, bottomy, bot botany? botany pots. I could grow oak trees here and here, I don't know, I'd, don't know what to do here. We could probably do carrots or potatoes, to be honest. Uh, and this goes a long way. Like, there's 213 pages of stuff. Okay, maybe not. I don't know why you can use stuff like... Oh, it that increases the speed. Okay, good to know. What is better for speed? I'm assuming it's just dirt. Which is nice. But you can do a lot of stuff. You can farm a lot of items. For example, saplings, which is going to be the big one. Uh, potatoes, which we are going to need farmland. Because that does increase the speed by a little bit. Uh, and actually, is it the same recipe as how it usually is? Farmland. I don't know how to actually obtain, obtain farmland. There isn't a way of obtaining farmland. So, I don't know if we place it in there, but we use a hoe on it, and then we're good to go. Um, but as it stands, uh, we're looking pretty darn good because we have one botany pot. Now I'm going to need iron, so I'm going to wait for some of these to smelt and uh, I'll be back once we have a bunch of stuffs. So to make a hopper botany pot, botany pot in there, hopper, boom. That's one of them done. Now all you got to do is place it on top of a chest. Um, and let's say we'll go with a sapling first. So you just, oh, we can just open up like here. Boom. And I, that should, oh, here we go. You can literally see it growing. Okay. Now, obviously, this is going to be slow. So we're going to have to set up quite a few of these. Um, because now, passively, we will be getting oak logs. Tree, uh, trees, oak logs, sticks, potentially apples, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But hopefully this goes into the chest when it's done. Any moment now. Any moment. This takes a while, so we're going to have to set up a bunch of these. Because this is insanely slow. I don't know if there's a way to speed it up. 
maybe using something else other than dirt. I mean, the way it works is it has to grow to what it actually looks like in terms of size on the ground. I just hope it gets put in the chest. I really do. It should do. I don't see why it wouldn't work. But you just never know these things, considering how to remove. There we go. And there we go. It does work. Okay. It's insanely slow. So, again, we'll have to make multiple of these, which we can do. Um, because, I'll be honest, sitting there is not ideal so so we can at least make two more because that is not fun uh to just sit and watch uh and i'm wondering if we just connect these two chests probably be easier right yeah uh, and the same old premise let's get our saplings we can even do spruce as well um for now though we'll i'll get spruce out so we can do that in the next one so there we go we've got two Oak saplings doing its thing, and of course, we can just keep adding more and more, which I think I'm, is what I'm going to use for like this side of things because, yeah, now we can automate stuff properly. So, after many moments, I don't know how to word that, of looking around how to upgrade these, I was recommended by multiple people to just you can you can upgrade them. Um, by just like simple stuff like concrete and stuff like that. So we have the base botany pot, which is speed one. Um, and I believe the maximum it goes to is speed two. Which, if that is the case, I mean, it's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. This one is kind of expensive. That's still speed. Okay, this is all iron and concrete. Okay. Um, okay, I was expecting like at least like tier 5 or tier 4 or whatever. But it looks, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so it looks like we can only get to uh, speed 2, but it does multiply it by 2 as well at the same time. So I guess that is a good thing. Yes. Uh, and there is more stuff. Uh, but I don't know how to find it. So, for example, I didn't realize that Botany Pot, as a mod, has a bunch of stuff. So, not only can you grow crops, um, plants, like potatoes and carrots, but you can also do ores. So, let's say I get Silk Touch, and I get Coal Ore or Diamond Ore. I believe there's a process of making that automatic as well. Um, and I think virtually you can do it with, like... The majority of stuff. Let's say we get diamond ore. I I wonder if there's a way you can. No, there isn't a way you can duplicate diamonds. What we do on here? Can we grow diamonds? You can. I guess you can. Block of diamond with one diamond in there. I guess this is a way of ore duplication. Um, it doesn't seem that great. Because I imagine this to be extremely slow. But, I mean, the chance is 100. So 100% of the time, you will get a diamond back. So all it will take, realistically, is 11, 11 rotations and you'll make a profit. So it's not, it's not great, but it's something. So for the stuff for the ME as well, we're going to need this. Slime balls and string. Slime balls... I'm fairly certain you can get through trading with villagers. I've seen a couple of trades where you have to pay with slime. Um, and string? String is the hard one because there is actually no way of obtaining string. Apart from spiders. So we might have to make a big platform somewhere or even a one of those generic mob farms you usually see. And um, yeah, kill some, kill some mobs. Unless you have... No. Okay, well, that's a pain. Oh, and he just died. That is... That's what... I've just remembered, I can actually make uh, magma blocks now. Because obviously I have a bunch of cobble. Um, I have 22 more in here. Uh, we have some flint and obviously some iron. So let's go make ourselves the... I don't think I need that many flint steel, I'm going to be honest. Um, but that's all you need to make this kind of magma. I don't know if... I'm assuming it uses up the entire flint steel. It does. Okay, that's fine. 
hey, we have 12 magma blocks now, and you're probably wondering, what can you do with this? We can make obsidian. We can even make lava, which is a very cool indeed. Um, because the stuff you can do with lava also is pretty good, I think. Okay, now I'm thinking of the wrong mod. But we can also make this, which we get, we, we need for, like, this is later on down the road kind of stuff. So, like, energy um, and whatnot. We can make solar panels for energy. It's probably what I'm going to go for because this is really good um, energy stuff. We're going to need this for our ME system. Um, so, it's good to have this. I'm actually going to tab that just so I know. But we have this. Uh, and what we can do with uh, magma blocks is now make obsidian with our water bucket. Now, I really hope this doesn't. Um, okay, it doesn't use up. That's good to know. But we have obsidian now, so we have access to technically the nether. We can go to the nether, which is what I'm planning on doing now. And add to our final piece of obsidian. There we go. We have enough to go into the nether now. And the nether opens up a bunch of stuff that is going to be very useful. Um, so obviously we're going to have quartz as the main one. Gold is also another good one. I don't know if iron generates in the nether on this mod pack. I'm not entirely sure. I doubt it. But we can also trade with the gold we get. But also with the nether rack. I'm pretty sure there's also more stuff we can do with that. Okay, there isn't. Okay, I was I was like, what about never bricks? There must be stuff we can do with never blocks. Like never bricks, is there more stuff we can do? No, that is that honestly really sad. Um I was kinda hoping that we could do a lot more with the never stuffs. So really, really in there for the quartz. Realistically. And I have just realized for some reason when you use a blast furnace. With gravel, it gives you iron. That could honestly be a game changer. It's always useful to check your recipes for this stuff. It's like this. Do we have enough? I need five iron. I have one iron on me. Okay, we can make a blaster. We can turn a lot of this gravel into, into iron. That's good, because I do need armor. And let's light up the portal. There you go. We are ready for that. Just put like a little walkway. Um, just because I didn't know what else to do. I am, however, going to be making the blast furnace because I do, <laughs> I do need iron armor. Um, also, I will be taking the shield. Um, I'll probably take the bow and arrow as well, just to kind of keep the ghasts at bay for now, because I can't be bothered dealing with those. If I'm going to be honest, this is going to be really weird to to do as well. Um, I'm curious. Um, so let's pop up, pop up that <laughs> gravel in the blast furnace. This is weird. And here we go. Iron ingots with gravel. I am not complaining. Alright. Full iron armor. I am so geared. It's crazy. Um, I did also get a pair of... No? Oh, okay. Oh, that's just metal sneakers. Interesting. Right. Here we go. Into the nether. How is it going to be... Please tell me it's going to be an island or something. It is. Oh, that's rough. Um... I was really hoping that it was going to be like a fortress or normal generation. Okay, so obtaining quartz is evidently not viable. Um, hmm. Also, yes, I uh, put my render distance up to max. You can just about see the world border now, which kind of looks very fancy. Um, you can kind of see it when you look up and whatnot. The screen looks a bit weird. Yeah, um, that's annoying. Heck. So the beauty of doing this um, allows me to make changes as we go along. So, for example, there was literally no way of me obtaining quartz. And I feel like for me to progress in this world, I would like to have quartz. So, if you don't know, um, I have a Discord. I'll put the Discord link in the description. If you are wanting to play along with me in your own world or whatever you can do, um, I will always keep the world or the, the mod pack updated in the Discord. So if you do want to keep along, I will always put the downloads in the Discord. So join the Discord. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't break the world, what I've just done. It shouldn't. I should have created a backup. Okay, so we are here. So I did add, as you can see in the top right, all those things happening. I did add mystical agriculture. And what that is, 
is basically, um, so for example, if I go to, if I type in quart and I look it up, I can craft it with the essence, which means I can grow it as well. But obviously I need to obtain it first. Um, and well, you know, realistically I can only get it from the never, which leads me on to my next thing, which I don't think will work, but it's worth a try. Okay, it didn't work. Um, but I added a mod that would add structures. Um, so I don't know how to get quartz. I don't know where to go from this point onwards. Yeah, I have no idea because I know that when, obviously sometimes we get villagers that spawn whilst we break the block. Um, I know that for a fact, none of them will trade quartz. You can only use it to buy items. You can never purchase quartz from them. Um, so I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know. I'm going to have to have a good think about this. Okay, so there is ways to obtain quartz. It involves a lot of stuff. And luckily I added the Twilight Forest. Now, a lot of you might know what that is. Um, although finding a blank maze map uh, isn't simple. It's a bit difficult. You have to do a lot of stuff to get to that point in the first place. Um, which I don't think I am ready to take on at this current moment in time. But uh, all this is just to get quartz and rich iron. So I'm going to need an uncrafting table. So that I can then proceed to make or use granite to uncraft it. Because that appears to be the only way where I can get quartz back by doing this. And sadly, this should be a thing in normal Minecraft. Um, but it isn't. I guess um, for now, we'll just continue breaking the block. Um, since the only way for me to get quartz is through going for the Twilight Forest. So I need to get one diamond. We did get this guy and his trades are kind of useless um you know what you can want you can very happily wonder about and i did just get some advice from a friend and it, do, it it's a solid option but i need to get gold first so when i go into the nether obviously nothing generates that i could use that to my advantage if i just build a massive platform um obviously mobs will spawn including piglins and i believe piglins trade quartz i think i hope as a checking yes you do give quartz so i might even do that i might get a bunch of blocks and you know eventually trade with those guys now thankfully if i remember correctly in this mod pack there are i don't know what it's called i believe there is it's a bartering station which is very cheap and doable um i just need gold which i don't f no i definitely don't have um i have seen villagers that trade i do have this guy i think you trade it do you no i mean i could honestly just you know see you later mate have a lovely day but that's probably gonna be the step is to uh, all this for quartz just turn it into quartz and rich iron this is crazy villager has just randomly I think this is the same dude. Oh, this is a new guy. Okay. Um, anything useful? Pumpkins? Do I need pumpkins or anything? Not really. The cow one would be very nice. I can't lie. But as it stands, not ideal. I'm trying to think. Is there any positives from the crimson stuff? But then I need never act to even plant it. So I can't even do that. Okay, you're getting better, Mr. Trader. You're getting better. New villager just dropped. And again? Uh, <laughs> not ideal. The tarot card is kind of cool. But I'm not interested in that. Cactus? Warped fungus? No. Uh, just hit step six. And we did get a new villager. And again... <laughs> Nothing I haven't already got. Beetroot, never going to need lava. I can get that now. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Just do, do the honourable thing and just leave this uh, leave this lovely island of mine. <laughs> oh, we finally got into redstone. What can we do with redstone? 
surely there's more stuff we can do with this to like turn it into other stuff you know maybe potentially i can grow i can start growing redstone um huh so i just realized there is multiple ways of growing redstone i can even do it this way or i can use the infusion seeds which are like this. Now you are going to get more yield by doing it like this, but the lowest tier you can use is tertium. And to make tertium, you're going to need inferior essence, which means you need to kill mobs. And that takes a while. Finally, gold. Oh my God. And now we have the bartering station. And the way this works is I just need to somehow trap piglins and to put this block in the radius of them. And if I just whack gold in here, their trades will outcome here. So it's a pretty useful block to have. Uh, and I feel that I do have a good amount of blocks. I don't know what block to use, though. I feel like if I use logs or wood, then ghasts will spawn and ruin the fun and burn it all down. So probably using that isn't going to be ideal. I could use moss, but then again, that also burns. Um, so I think cobble is going to be the way forward. Now, piglins do only spawn in the nether wastes, so I've got to be careful on where I build this. So, I'm in a nether waste, nether waste right now, which is nice. So, we're going to build a massive platform around the portal, and hopefully we'll get some piglins spawning. And I've officially run out of cobblestone. I'm just going to leave this here, just for now. Um, so, I need to get more cobble. And I've just realized, with... The addition to the stuff. Do I have it on here? I don't. Let me see if I can make the cobble generator, which I don't seem to see anymore. Okay. Just log back in. And uh, yeah, so the cobble gen generators, which were previously here, for some reason on CurseForge, they were shown as hidden. Um, so I don't know what went wrong. So we have tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. Obviously we're not going to get tier 5 anytime soon. Same with tier 4. Iron we could probably get up to. But for now we can do this. Uh, although we do need glass. We don't have sand. So I do need to wait for a villager to come by. And hopefully we can get sand. Um, unless there is a way. But I don't know about. Which <laughs> there isn't. Um... Which is a shame. So that sucks. Um, I did not know that was a, a recipe. It probably isn't. But, well, more grinding. We do have a villager. Sand? Hmm. <laughs> this is atrocious. I'm trying to think. No, there's nothing like really I can do a puff of fish. But that is... Uh... Listen, you can hold the flowers all you want, mate. Awful trades. You know what just four of doing? We have a, a plenty of iron to do this. Um, I'm not going to do gold just yet, but that is next on the thing. Let's smell all the iron. And let's grow the iron. Because, um, well, it's a no-brainer, let's be honest. So first, I'm going to need to make a couple of you. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Um, I believe for these, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. I am literally, yes, there we go. Uh, that's two. There we go, we can make three in total. Um, I do just need to smelt these, I believe. Wait, let me, let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Bricks into Flower pots? Well, why not? Put yeah, okay, flower pots. You get get smelted. All right, we're on to a new task. We're, we're just doing task after task after task. So the first thing we're going to grow in here is iron. Now, how long this takes, I have no idea, but I'm excited for it. Because now I have, like, a very slow iron farm. The next thing we're going to do is redstone and copper, and then obviously we're going to do stuff like gold. When we do have enough for it... Um, we're actually not that far off, to be fair. So that is very good. We're making some very solid progress here in terms of all this stuff, which is nice. 
another hopper botany pot, which we are going to stick the redstone in. <laughs> that we can grow iron and redstone like this is honestly it's very cool. Um I wanna see what the yield is. I don't know how large it's gonna grow. I imagine it's gonna to grow to the size of the full block. Yeah, okay, I got two iron from that. That's honestly not too bad. And the last one, copper. Now, obviously, I do want one more for gold, so I'm going to set that up now, uh, just so I have it all ready to go, uh, which we should do once I make the hopper. All I need now is just to finish up, and we need to obtain three more pieces of gold, which, again, realistically won't take long at all. And there is all, all the ores up for now set up. This is really cool. Look, nine iron, 13, you know, it's, it's slowly going. Um, and obviously the gold one I'm really excited about because obviously with the bartering station we're gonna need a lot of gold So the more of this I can make the better realistically and obviously later on down the line I can set all these up to more of these blast furnaces to then obviously make it all fully automatic So I don't have to worry about taking them all out and smelting them or what I could do is you can um, Let me have a look actually with some other pipes So if I get the item pipes which honestly just two droppers that is pretty good because i can also just make them filter through into some of the drawers we have um for droppers that is very doable i do have that i do also have that actually two of these uh and we just need six iron which we definitely have uh, no, we can get that off. Pipes. Now, with the pipes, if you don't know the uh, the pipes mod, um, you should... Yeah, this wrench here, the pipe wrench. So, okay, thank God for that. I thought if you needed blaze rods for that, I would have cried. For two flint and two sticks, that's all we need. Now, I don't have any gravel left, it seems. Okay, there's a uh, gravel. Make the wrench. And we have this. So, luckily, this is all on the same level. So, I'm going to connect them all up to here. Um, I'm going to have to get behind. So, temporarily, let's get some blocks. And I'll show you how to do this. Again, if you don't know how to do this, it's actually very simple. Um, you just want to make sure... What is that? Place 100 dirt blocks. W. So, let's make sure it is definitely the bottom one, which it is. Next, what you want to do is you want to place a pipe there, there, there. And you want to get the, the wrench and you want to right click this part. So you get like this wide part. That means it's on extract mode. And then as you see, it is slowly but surely filling up. Uh, I don't know why it is doing that though. That is something I, I don't know how to solve. Um, it's taken it from a chest, but now it has started. It's all starting from this chest, which is kind of annoying. Okay, I think I saw it out. I did the... Uh, so you meant to extract the chest, but on the block where you want to send it, you don't make sure it's on extract. So these are all pulling it out, and obviously this is the only location it can go. So that's all filling up. We are getting all the items now. Um, realistically, you don't even need the chests. You can just have the pipes underneath the, the pots. And that should also work. But to hide the pipes, it is a, you know, I'd recommend having the, the chest. Or just any block there, really, that can hold items, like a barrel or something. But yeah, we're now automatically storing these. Now, for this, because it is automated, I would also recommend an item that you're probably going to need to get used to with drawers. And that is the upgrades you can get for them. So, for example, um, these upgrades here. Uh, which one is probably the easiest one to make? So, we got this one, which requires obsidian. And then we got, where's the iron one? Which is it's kind of weird because this one's storage upgrade one. So this increase increases storage by two times its base value. This is four. This is eight. Uh, and we only need one of these per drawer. And that equates for all four of these. So, for example, we only need two gold. Four. 
the storage upgrade free. And they don't work in tiers, so you don't need to do this one to then make this one to make this one. Although you, you do need an upgrade template, which is pretty easy to make. But you can keep going. Emerald, the void one. Oh, this one, so this one is pretty good. I'll probably use this one later on down the line. This is basically a, a bin. Um, or you got you do got to be careful. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'd very much recommend looking into these. Um, because I think base value, these do hold... It did say what it held. I'm pretty sure. Holds 8 stacks per drawer. So if we're times in that by, what, 4? I don't know, maths. Uh, 32, 32 stacks per drawer. So 32 stacks of redstone, gold. That's, 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 that's a good amount. And I believe with the drawers, you can add 4 upgrades per 1. So, realistically, we can... We can get some more here, um, whether or not we have the resources to actually make these, I don't know, because I don't know what these are. Oak, half drawers, we're going to want these ones. Trapped chest, I really hope you can just use any chest for this. Which I'm, I'm fairly certain you can, and that is good because we have a lot of wood and a lot of slabs, which it looks like you need. Okay, so we have 20 of those. And, uh, yeah, we just need sticks. Now, I don't know if you have that mod where we can turn these back into planks. Doesn't look as if we can. That is fine, though. I've just got a new thing. More XP. Level 23. Let's make a bunch of those. That should last us a while. And we need we need more sticks. That's crazy. It's crazy because, um, you know, you may think in this chest, there's no wood at all. Let's come over here and we have so much wood. Look at this. We have some spruce gun on. So these things are very, like, honestly, set them up ASAP because they are so handy to use and so easy to set up as well. It's crazy. So let's make some of these. Um, oh, I need the gold. Boom. So we have four of these. So you just right click it and they are meant to to show somewhere. I'm not sure where they actually are meant to be showing. Um, I don't know if they actually went on or not. I don't know if there's a way for me to check. Um, is it on the back? It's not on the back. Um, I'll be one second. Also, these do work like shulker boxes. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's working. I'm hoping they are working because that would have just been a waste of time. Um, but when I break it and let's say place it here, it doesn't it doesn't show me. Or at least I can't see that it tells me anywhere, um, which isn't ideal. I don't know. I have no idea. We're just gonna hope it, it it's actually working. I imagine it is. But we have that now, which is very nice, very handy to have. Um, and now I cannot remember what I was even doing. I think I was just going for diamond because I need to get to the something for Twilight Forest. There we go. Okay, after testing with the sticks, I can confirm that they are working. So we don't have to worry about them. Holding the position. Now I just got to worry about. I have just randomly. A thousand sticks. Just chilling in here. Um, but yeah. No that does work. So we are very. We're, we're chilling. So another block I'd recommend for you to do. Or to farm. Is coal. Coal is going to be a big one. Because we're going to need a lot of that. So yeah. We're chilling right now. I, I'm stoked that we're at this point now. Where we can literally just farm. Bunch of ores that are going to be very useful. Um, and yeah, this is great. I love this. Anyway, let's get to work. Let's get the heck in diamond. And we need to think of a way to get flowers as well. So, okay, I thought of a way how to get flowers. Um, so I'm going to need pumpkins. So I'm going to need to wait for one of those villagers to... There's no way. Oh, that was impeccable timing. Don't go behind there. Um, I'm going to need one of these to either trade me flowers or I need to wait until one of these guys will sell me pumpkin seeds because obviously then I can make myself an iron golem and upon killing iron golems 
um, you obviously get poppies. So that's going to be my best way of getting flowers for now. Um, so you are not helpful over the string. The string, that is insanely helpful. Give me all of my iron. Take it all. Smelt it all. I would love your string. Please. Fact, 24 string. Yo, we could finally make wool. I can make a bed. This is huge, by the way. Um, bed. Bed. I finally have somewhere to sleep. This is insane. I have a bed. Now, what can I do with string? I can even... Oh, I can make processor binding now. Um, okay, this is this is huge. This is massive. Although, it's not a, a renewable source. But it is definitely welcome. So, I'm going to need all the string I can get. Is there any way I can automate this in any way, shape, or form? That isn't. There's not even a way I can craft it with essence. Which is a shame. Um, but that's fine, because later on down the line, we're going to have a bunch of farms where... Um, we'll be able to get string. Relatively easy. But for now, we've maxed out 28 string. Happy days. I just got given a diamond sword and a golden pickaxe. I got that from... Gather 50 raw copper. Okay. Even got myself a crossbow, some arrows. A diamond sword, though. I will... I don't need it right now, but I'll take it because I'm about to, you know, I plan to go into Twilight Forest. I'm definitely going to need that. That's, that's very welcome. Let's go. Oh, and we just got 34, 35 brown wool. Again, what can we do with this? There's a couple of stuff we can do. Obviously, yeah, we can change the color of it and whatnot. Um, anything useful at all? I mean, that is late game stuff, but that is exciting, I guess. No fall damage augment. There's armor you can create to then stick on these augments. Um, and you can essentially become a god. Um, it's very cool. I think what I'm going to do, because I've just realized, and I keep forgetting this, but you can obtain diamonds um, with rotten flesh. So if I make a big enough area over here where mobs will be able to spawn... Um, obviously it would be much better if I was to make, uh, that mob farm, which I might do now that I have water to be fair. So I'll create this area and I'll probably go about building that farm. Good idea. And that, you know what? That didn't take too long. That took like 15 minutes. If that. So we have this little platform. Now I don't know cause I built it a bit close. I don't know where I have to stand in order for like the mobs to like spawn. <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yes, it's working. Um, now, eventually I might come up here because obviously spiders, they shouldn't be able to escape with how the bottom is, but obviously they can catch themselves on the, on the walls. There. I don't know if there's a way to stop that. If there is a way, let me know. I'd very much appreciate it. But as of right now, we have access to bones. And if you don't know, you know, what bones can do, I can now get flowers. I don't even need to go down to the, um, the iron route. So now we can just, we can just, we could kill monsters now. I've got to be careful though, because, you know, eventually a creeper will explode. But also, that also enables us to get, um, some Inferium Essence. Also, we get sugarcane and other stuff. That's kind of cool. Um, I know that in this mod pack, mobs do drop different kind of drops, as we are seeing. I don't know what else they do drop. I think this is just it. Um, but here we are getting zombies, and the zombies are what we want. Because we do need the rotten flesh. Very badly. So, let me get, uh, let me get the rotten flesh. Because uh, I do kind of want to show you guys how you can make diamonds from rotten flesh. Um, but so far... This is working very well. Even just by standing here, a lot of them are generating, which I am very glad to see. So let me just uh, read on how to make diamonds and I'll go back. Okay. So I need nine rotten flesh to convert it into one singular diamond. But there are zombies here now. Um, 
So hopefully it shouldn't take us too long to get what we need. Oh, we do get slime as well. Okay. <laughs> Rabbit hide? Okay, there's there's leather. There's leather sorted. Um But no, hey, with this, this opens up a lot of stuff now. We can get a lot of stuff done. Um So let me show you. So with the leather. I believe what we do is it. There we go. You just flick it. And we now have a diamond. We are really, we are actually gaming. Hell yeah. All that just from making a mob farm. So I should have made this sooner. Um, obviously what I would recommend is get these. Because he, these carried. Um, <laughs> without this, you wouldn't see this massive wooden block in the sky. But now we have access to diamonds. Um, all I need to do now is get flowers. Uh, I know there was a way of getting it. I'll be honest, I have completely forgotten. Um, I know you can get flowers from... Oh, the bones, the bone meal. So, let me just do this, because this is a historic moment. There we go. We do this. And we finally got flowers. And I even have alt mine as well. Which is in the mod pack. Um, so there we go. Yeah, we are really chilling now with the flowers. We have enough flowers already. This is great. Now for a hugely historic moment. There we go. The Twilight Forest is unlocked. Hell yes. This is where the game really opens up now. Because we can get a lot of stuff done. The only thing is, I don't know when we go for it. You know what? Let's just go for it now. Hopefully it doesn't... It's the actual Twilight Forest. Okay. I am so happy that that is a thing. Perfect. So, I'm going to head off here. It's been a very eventful um, episode 2. Didn't really do what I said I wanted to do, but in the process, we did manage to get some other stuff done, like the mob farm. Um, we got ore automation. We got log automation. And we have the Never and the Twilight Forest unlocked. So... A successful episode so thank you for watching don't forget to like uh, and check out all the links in the description i'd very much appreciate it and i'll see you soon Bye bye